Hello and welcome to today's vlog. It's Friday, February 17th, and uh, I'm stopping in at Fitz Cycles to pick up a bicycle that I'm going to be test riding for, well, maybe for a couple of days. Actually, I don't know yet. But uh, this bike is the bike that I rode a while back uh, on a ride that I went out with John Fitzgerald down in Marin County, and this is a 650B dirt uh touring style bike. I don't have an exact description for it because it's, I don't know if he actually made it as a touring bike or if he just made it as a 650B dirt off-road drop bar bike. Whatever it is, he's going to let me test ride it and uh, do a little bit of a more in-depth video about this particular bike. And why I'm riding this is because I want to build a, another bike, one for Miss Cools and possibly one for myself. Uh, around this design, around this particular design. So let's head in there now and uh, check out this bike and see if John has any more information he can share with us. You ready, Loon? This is Luna, everyone. Everyone, this is Luna. Her birthday's coming up. She's gonna be 12 years old. You feel like you're 12 yet? Yeah. 12 is getting old for a dog, anyway. All right, well, let's uh, let's go inside and meet up with uh, Mr. Fitzgerald. Uh -huh. Just a little bit, but uh, if, if you want to, I'll give you the other the other one, and you can mount them on some bike. Okay. Yeah, I'll take them. Okay. If I don't do it, I'll bring them right back with the bike. So Sounds good. at least yeah. if I if you're not using them and you you know. No, I'm not using them at all. I'm just I'm keeping them for. I don't know some other project that may came up. Yeah. And um, I can take this off too. Um, I hit it on the head in terms of it being kind of like a drop bar mountain bike mm -hmm. um, because it performs really well in the headlands that ride that we did, you know, going off road, just chunky stuff and being able to fly mm -hmm. as much as one can on a fully rigid bike. Right. So I hit it on the head with that, um, but I think it's a little sluggish on the road in part because I think the tubing is too stout for me. Okay. You know? Like, this would be an excellent touring bike. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, that you could also be, have it as a gravel bike. But for me, I think I like the frame to flex a little more. Mm -hmm. um, and another friend of mine kind of pointed out, because I made a bike similar for him, but disc that he would have liked the bottom bracket height to be a little bit higher mm, okay. for the off-road purposes. So, you know, maybe five more millimeters and, you know, 165 crank, something like mm -hmm. that. I didn't really find I had that much problem, but, you know, if I were to, like, dial it in more, that would be things that would change. Other than that, it's a really sweet bike. I just think maybe I went a little bit overzealous on the down to where I could have went with just a single oversized mm -hmm. and had it perform just as well and have it be a little more flexy. Flexy on the road. Right, right. So, okay, so this bike has a oversized down, a double oversized down tube and an oversized top tube or a double oversized top tube? Just an oversized. Oversized, oversized. okay. Yeah. I just don't need it that stiff. Okay. You know, it's so... Preferential. So see. Another person my size might love it mm -hmm. in terms of the flex or mm -hmm. stiffness, you know? Mm -hmm. I've had bikes that I've sold to other people similar size to me where I thought were too flexy. Guys all like, I love flexing these frames. It's perfect. So, yeah, I mean, flex is a tough one. I go around and around and around on it. I mean, sometimes I'm like, oh, this is too flexible. Then I go ride a stiff bike and then I'm like, oh, well, maybe that other bike is actually really good. You know, so it's hard to always just want one thing. You know, that's the weird downside of bikes. You just keep wanting to try all this other stuff. <laughs> it's like a new pair of shoes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, and, you know, like that Mount Tam ride that we did. Yeah. Like, I think that's like this bike is perfect for that kind of riding. The spike horse. You know, yeah. Um, it's just for some, if you're doing more road riding with it, it seems a little stiff to me. Yeah. So what are the overall, like, what's the geometry of this bike? You know, head tube angle, seat tube angle, uh, bottom, well, you said the bottom bracket drop already. 
I, I didn't say the number. I think oh, it's it. okay. like at 70. 70, okay. Um, and it's kind of classic mountain bike angles. It's a 73 C2, 71 um, head tube. 71, okay, yeah. cool. Because I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure when I sent you those pictures of, of Teresa's bike, I wasn't sure if you were going to go, oh, that's too slack of a head tube angle. Because I, I couldn't, I was trying to limit the toe overlap. And the only way to do it and not end up with some really low trail or or really high trail was to try to, you know, give the head tube angle just a little, little, little less, you know, a little more slack, I guess. Yeah. I, I mean, I think for the, you know, the steep descents, it's a good choice. Yeah. And the trail number is at 60. 60. Okay. Um, which is what I liked on a previous gravel all road bike that I made. So I liked that. Mm -hmm. And, um, I forget what the rake is, but that rake the trail is, is 60. I mean, the rake, if, if I have to be honest, I think that fork rake looks so nice. I want to say it's 50. It could be wrong. I just, I have to look it up. Okay. So it's mid trail. It's not like anything, and it's seventy one. So that's that's perfect. This is this is perfect. So this will give you a good idea of kind of what you're looking for. Yeah. And then, you know, you can dial in the tubing that you think would be best. I personally, I think oversized single oversized would be would be good enough. What you want. Yeah. But. I'm hoping to get this video up today. This friendly Friday vlog and while I'm out and picking up this bike I thought maybe I would just do a little side-by-side -side comparison between my 650B bike and uh, this other bike here that John built. By now hopefully a lot of you who've been watching my channel have seen this bike. I've had this bike for oof. well it was 2019 when I put it together it was the last frame John built in 2018. So what is that? It's uh, 2023 now. So it's it's going to be four years old soon. And in that time frame, I've put on close to 25, or maybe a little over 25,000 miles on the bike, and doing a variety of rides, mixed terrain, paved rides, dirt rides. You know, basically the whole spectrum, and. So I have a lot of experience with this. So I thought it would be cool to see them side by side here. Obviously I have fenders on mine uh, and John on his doesn't, but you can sort of get a sense here. Let me step back a little bit. Maybe get a, just an overview of what the two look like, the differences, the similarities, um, you know. Obviously mine is built a little bit more uh, inspired by a more classic design. A level top tube, lug construction, but standard diameter tubing. And I don't know if it's showing up in the camera or not, but John's bike is double oversized on the down tube and oversized on the top tube. It's got a slight slope in the top tube compared to mine. and. A different fork crown. Those are some just really just some surface level differences. I mean, there's a lot of differences between these bikes, but uh, yeah. So the tires, I would start. Let's just let's, just let's kind of go over some of it here. So these tires are the uh, Renaires Unobtainium Ridges. They are a 650B by 55 endurance casing. These are the knobby tires that Renaires uh, is well known for now. I think a lot of people are really digging these tires. And I've ridden the 48 millimeter tires before in the knobby version, but I've ridden a lot of the slicks. And so I have test ridden this bike once, but it was just a very short ride just down in Marin. So this time I'm gonna put a, little bit get to ride it for a little bit longer and really get a feel for the difference obviously one by white industries crank and uh, dropper seat posts which is totally different this bike has a one inch thread uh, threaded one inch threaded with the quell stem over here this looks like a inch and an eighth to me but maybe it's a one inch threaded I'm not actually sure. I should, I forgot to ask. John, 
Is this inch and an eighth or one inch? There might be a spacer in there. Anyway, it's hard to tell. Maybe it is a one and an eighth. This is the crust uh, fork crown, which was originally designed by uh, Tom Ritchie. So yeah, overview, first impression overview or comparison video here. And uh, we're gonna be doing some more videos of this in the coming uh, days and all that, where we're gonna, I'm gonna go out and ride this bike get some feel out of it get some get some uh, perspective on it so uh, stay tuned for that and uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think and also I want to say thank you to everyone on the last video for all of the uh, the the feedback I got it was just incredible so I really appreciate it and uh, yeah so let me know some feel free dive in in the comments that's what they're there for you know, engage with other people down there in the comments, be nice to each other, respectfully disagree, and uh, stay tuned for more videos of this bike, and yeah, we'll see you soon.